I received great response on my last video, the Future Proof MacBook Pro setup, so be sure to go check that out as a precursor to this one. So I received this keyboard a couple days after, so I guess you can now consider this a part of my setup. This is the Matthias Wireless Aluminum Backlit Keyboard, and probably, in my opinion, the best bang for your buck typer for your Mac setup. So taking a look at it, it's a very attractive looking full size keyboard. It's Bluetooth wireless, and it's aluminum, so it complements your Mac nicely with a space gray option, but I opted for the silver model as a personal preference. It's virtually identical to the original debut of the Matthias aluminum keyboard, but the biggest selling point for me with this one, it has to be that backlight feature. You just don't find too many wireless keyboards with backlighting, especially when it's accompanied by great build and design. So this is supposed to resemble the Magic Keyboard that's offered by Apple, with just a few different keys that I'll go over in just a second. Do expect that glossy finish on the back to become smudgy while you're handling the keyboard, but I wouldn't sweat that too much since that part isn't even visible anyway. So adjacent to the micro USB charging port up top sits your power button, and with a single tap, you power up the keyboard, and a green light lets you know that it's on. A single tap again will give you an amber light and that means that it's off and then when it flashes red that means it needs to be charged so to pair the keyboard after it's been powered on you just press and hold down one of the four connection buttons to the top right of the keyboard to enter pairing mode and that's indicated by a flashing blue light you then want to head over to either your Android, your iPhone, your iPad, or your other Mac machine to finish the pairing process. So to clarify, up to four different devices can be paired, and a single tap of either connection button will seamlessly switch between your devices. I'm transitioning from one of my favorite and probably one of the best full-size keyboard options available for Mac, the K750. This is a solar-powered wireless keyboard, meaning that you never have to charge it, and when placed next to each other, you can see just how outdated it looks compared to the Matthias keyboard with its more modern, sleek look. Another noticeable difference on the Matthias is the typing. Your fingers just flow a lot better across the keyboard. With just two millimeters of travel, the standard chiclet style keys feels smooth to the touch as my fingers glide across while typing, and the layout is a lot closer to full size with its slightly bigger keys. Speaking of, you get all the keys that you would expect on a Mac keyboard. You have your brightness and volume controls, your mission control and your launchpad buttons, and a new key that's exclusive to this keyboard only is that backlight modifier key. And it's placed typically where the ejector key would be, and you can use this to adjust the intensity of the backlight, so while holding it down and pressing either plus or minus, it'll increase or decrease gradually down to zero. You can also, which I thought was neat, is when holding down the modifier button, you can choose numbers between one to zero to jump straight to the backlight percentage. So 10%, 20%, 30% respectively, with zero being 100%. I usually like to keep it at around 80%, that seems to work best for me. And to preserve battery, the energy saving feature has the backlight shut off after 30 seconds of no typing. And surprisingly, the backlight actually operates off of a second dedicated 1400 milliamp hour battery. This way, if the backlight battery dies, the keyboard doesn't go with it, and it can still last up to a year. Now the life of the backlight battery obviously varies depending on your use and the intensity of the backlight and your typing patterns, but the part that sucks is that under normal use, you can expect the backlight to last just only two weeks. So that's a bit of a downside. Now you can always go for the more traditional look of the keyboard by just keeping it plugged in via the included three foot micro USB charging cable and just use it like that. This way it's always fully charged and the backlight remains on at all times. Now it features a 1600 milliamp hour battery and a full charge takes about nine hours and it claims up to one year of battery life on a single charge as aforementioned and a standby time of up to two years. Depending on the speed of your input, you can achieve up to 1600 hours of uninterrupted typing time Theoretically, if you do the math, if you type, let's say, 80 words per minute, which is considered fast, you can go 66 days of straight typing before the keyboard dies on you. I think that's pretty good for a wireless keyboard. Now, the range on this keyboard is pretty good. I was able to go about 35 feet before the connection dropped, but all I need is a couple feet for a stationary setup. So other than my critiques earlier, I really don't have any complaints about this keyboard, aside from the fact that it does require charging every now and then, which is hardly a flaw. And that's only coming from the perspective of owning a solar powered keyboard for a couple years, which I never had to charge. Now you can get your hands on this model for about 140 bucks, which is a price that I was willing to pay for. But if you don't care about the backlight feature, the original identical model without the backlight goes for about 115 bucks on Amazon. And I'll go ahead and drop both of those links down below in the description for your convenience. That's it folks. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to show some love to that like button. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on some more awesome tech videos. I want to thank each and every one of you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.